told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long What? is up everyone and welcome to the first episode of a brand new series staying true to minecraft survival basically this is gonna be like a bare bones minecraft series with no cheats no commands we're gonna like survive the way minecraft intended us to survive with a little bit of a twist of course because as you can see we're rick from the tv show rick and morty and he has seemed to teleport himself to some island. And by the looks of it, Morty is nowhere to be seen. So, like in any Minecraft world, we're going to start by punching a tree. Thank God Rick is one of the smartest people on the planet. Or I guess in the whole universe. So, he should have no problem figuring out how to fit into this world pretty easily. So we'll start by punching some trees, craft our first tools, he's sort of figuring it out, <laughs> needs an extra piece of wood, give him a chance, he'll figure it out. So he crash landed here, teleported here, woke up here, he's not too sure, but he's going to have to figure this out with you guys and hopefully you enjoy the series and if you do let me know in the comments consider maybe smashing that like button subscribing to the channel if you want to see more i have decided to like make sure that this series goes on for a long time <clears throat> i kind of really like this spawn got a little cave right beside us make our first stone tools couple minutes into the world See, Rick's getting the hang of it already. Clean up our inventory a little bit. We'll get rid of this tree. Because, you know, even Rick can't leave floating trees. <laughs> Let's get some of this coal and stuff before it gets any darker. At least we'll have some torches right off the bat, which is kind of a bonus. Yeah, so I figure this series will be like a let's play with like a storyline. So basically, Rick is stuck on this island. Gonna have to find a way to get back to Earth. Back to Morty and Morty's family. And along the way, he will uh, maybe be able to uh, enlighten this population, you know. Teach them a little bit about Redstone. Because he's mastered redstone like over his journeys across the universe and stuff. So we'll be able to put some crazy redstone farms in here and just do things like that. Tons of coal here for early game now. I didn't even have to go 20 blocks. So I'm not complaining about this spawn at all. <clears throat> and by the looks of it there is a. A spruce forest right behind us. I saw that when we first loaded in. Well, I saw a little bit of, yeah, I see a little bit of snow on that mountaintop. It usually means there's spruce trees around, which is my favorite block to build with. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite, like, wood type. Especially with 1.21 being here. And, like, bamboo being a nice block. And I'm excited to build with tough. I like the way they made those, um... Like uh, polished tough blocks and stuff. I think that's what they are. Polished or something like that. But they're going to make for the nicest floors. And of course the crafter. But mm -hmm. I am nowhere ready for that yet. Because I don't even have an auto farm yet. But we'll go and try to find a village right away. Or as like quickly as we can. And. Then we can make a villager breeder. Oh, what is that? This is the first time Rick has encountered any sort of, like, being. Oh, and it seems like it's mad. 
So they're monsters, he finds out. Mobs. Bad people in this world. It is not a completely uninhabited planet. There are, like, beings on here. And that look like some sort of a spider variant. This cave doesn't go very far. But it's all lit up now. So worst case scenario. If we need a spot to like tuck away for the night. Ooh. Another resource. It's weird. I'm supposed to have the borders on. I have a bunch of mod packs. But the. Um, border for the, or maybe there is a border around it, I guess there is a border around it, it used to glow, I'm have to find the old resource packs ahead, get this world looking a little bit fancier, maybe we'll do that before the like start of the second episode, but I'm telling you for early game we are getting a ton of resources, which is actually really really nice. We haven't had to venture too far out. <clears throat> the first episode will basically be surviving your first day. We're going to stop gathering some resources here if I can help it. And maybe see if we can find like a source of food really quick. Thought I heard cows or, or uh, sheep around here. Oh, there's one. Oh, look at that. So he's getting, like, information, his brain, all those little things, his brain. That's, like, his brain showing us that he's understanding the crafting recipes as he's picking stuff up. Is that bees? Are there bees on this planet? Could we get some honey? He would be, oh, there are bees. Okay. This planet's odd. It's almost like Earth. But, oh, there's our second sheep. Yeah, it's almost like planet Earth, but just different in some way. And I haven't seen, like, another human being or anybody. Just entities, like farm animals and that weird spider and... Oh, a chicken. Yeah, what a weird planet. Maybe we're on Earth, but like in a different time. I don't know. Something he's going to have to figure out. Oh, some more coal in this little like offshoot. Not really a cave, kind of just like a split in the land. But we're still going to gather it all up. Never. Usually I'm making charcoal this early in the game. So it's such a bonus that. We're finding all the coal right away. Another huge vein of it. To add to our collection. Yeah, wow. Oh, we're about to break our first stone pickaxe. I'm going to try to keep the wood one. Just as like a memory of our first pickaxe. I'll try to get it in a chest really, really quick. Oh, so we broke it. Speaking of which, I guess I will use it very delicately to just get the last couple pieces of coal. Then I'll just go... Oh, the last piece. Look at that. <clears throat> and then I guess I'll just go make another one. While we're here, we'll light this up really quick. Just so it's a little bit more mob-proof. It's such a bonus that, like, torches, as long as there's, like, some light, then mobs won't spawn. I remember, like, before you had to put a torch, and then, like, before the torch would be, like, halfway out of light, mobs would start to spawn again, so your bases were, like, spammed with torches. So, in that way, it's a little bit nicer. And another thing I always like to do is, um, hide my torches in moss. So usually where I build, I'll end up like converting it all to moss and hiding the torches under carpet. If you've ever seen one of my Minecraft series, usually I just like destroy the landscape and go all industrial. But I don't know. I think this time I'm going to try to make it look really nice. Let's hop up here. 
And oh, see, we're into some snow. Hmm, that snow looks sus. Why is it all blue like that? Whew. Uh oh, uh oh. What does this mean? Oh no, his working counter powder snow for the first time. <laughs> yes, he has. So he will probably avoid that. It's starting to get dark. We have a nice little mountain up there. Probably make our way. Oh, is that an emerald ore? It is. Come on, silk touch, right? I'm like pixel riffs when it comes to that stuff. I love it. So we're going to make a crafting table up top of this tree. Then I think we'll craft a couple planks. And our first bed. And Rick, being the genius that he is, is not as smart as he thought, I guess. And is going to spend his first night up in a tree doing it like a true Minecrafter would. And we'll probably take a screenshot, a little thumbnail there, for our first episode. And honestly, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, smash that like button. Maybe let me know in the comments what you think about the series. Whether you think it's a good idea to do a little role play with Rick. And yeah, I look forward to making more videos. So we're going to leave you there in the day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.